gentlemen, welcome to Collider alongside Mr. Jay Washington. I am Mark Ellis, and this just in breaking news from Quentin Tarantino's new movie that is going to be centered around the Charles Manson murders, or at least have that in the backdrop. In the forefront is going to be an actor you may have heard of named Leonardo DiCaprio. He has officially been cast in the movie that is set to open in August of 2019. These are the facts of the case. They are not disputed. Jay Washington, Leonardo DiCaprio joining this project. What does that do to you? Well, it's good. It's interesting because just like the article says, it's his first film since he won the Oscar for The Revenant, mm -hmm. and it's bringing him back to Tarantino, as you saw him as Mr. Candy and Django, which he had a stellar performance, which people thought he would have won the Oscar for that. So him and Tarantino are a great pairing together. It's going to be, inter again, we know the backdrop, like you said, we know the foreground, and we also know some of the other people who are said to be attached to this or rumored to be attacked. That's right. So Margot Robbie has been officially asked to play the role of Sharon Tate. We don't know if she's going to accept right. that or not. Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt are two pretty famous <laughs> actors that are circling another lead role in this. Leonardo DiCaprio is going to be playing an aging actor in and around Los Angeles who probably hasn't achieved the level of success that the actual Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> has achieved. Do you like having DiCaprio this time of his career playing kind of a mirror version of himself through a funhouse mirror? Obviously less successful. He's living in a studio apartment probably as opposed to a estate. I think it'll be interesting because we've seen him play opposite of what he is. He had to play a slave owner as Mr. Candy. Mm -hmm. He had to play a desperate, a desolate and despaired man in The Revenant. Some of these other roles have not been him. So to see him try to portray a role that I hope people don't look at it like, well, he's not really that type of actor. He's he's rich and famous. To see how methodical he can get into the character, how ingrained he can ingrain himself into this. You know, when Daniel Day-Lewis plays a character, when he's completely that character, we don't say anything about it. So the fact that he's playing a struggling actor shouldn't diminish the role, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, Daniel Day-Lewis left town. So, Dan, uh, you know, if you look at DiCaprio, we, he's super famous. When you watch a DiCaprio movie, you know it's him. But he has as good of an ability as anybody working today, in my opinion, to disappear into whatever role mm -hmm. he's playing. With this in particular, the shocking thing about this news to me is that the Revenant came out in 2015. This is coming out in 2019. He has a few other projects that have been announced, but this is going to be the next one in his lineup. It's going to be a four-year break. He's never taken that much time off. This is going to be his comeback pitch. I mean, some people deserve a break. He, he's been working nonstop. <laughs> he was eating a lot of bear liver for a while, so <laughs> you know, we'll give him the benefit he, of the doubt. He stayed in the cold, actually, for Revenant. I mean, again, the other movies that are in the pocket that he's working on, we we not we don't know officially about. There may have been two or three he might have been working on during this span. So I don't think this will just be the first movie we officially see. You know, he may do something here or there. He may be behind the scenes. He may not just be the actor in front of the camera. He may be a producer, director for different things. So that's a possibility. It would certainly be interesting to see, regardless of whether Brad Pitt or Tom Cruise accept the role that they have rumored to be offered or circling around, and then obviously if Sharon Tate, that character is going to be played by Margot Robbie with DiCaprio teaming up with Tarantino again. That's the big news here. Tarantino, the big Star Trek fan, clearly was passionate about this project. It was pitched all over town. Everybody wanted this. It landed at Sony. So it comes out again August of 2019. It remains to be seen how much of the actual Charles Manson we're going to see. He was big in the art community around that mm -hmm. time. He was hanging out with the Beach Boys. He was trying to record music. He was doing a lot of different things, becoming that cult leader, a monster that everybody knows him as now. Will DiCaprio actually have a run-in with that character? We don't know any of the script details yet, but That'll you be see where this project's That'll going. That'll be interesting to see if he has, like, he passing bys with them or just general interactions. We don't know that that's Manson at the time until later on in the film, it's revealed that was Charles Manson. He's like, I've been around this guy or something like that. And you just got to wonder if if the role that Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise are looking at, could that possibly be Charles Manson? Or would that be somebody else? And they would <sighs> be playing. I think that they're looking at them for the detective that might be investigating it. But it's just this this movie has all the tea leaves pointing to another Oscar contender for Tarantino and now for Leonardo DiCaprio joining the cast. Right now, we leave it up to you guys, whether it's on our social media venues or right here in the comment section. Let us know. What are your thoughts on DiCaprio? DiCaprio making this his next big project, following up on his Oscar win of The Revenant. For Jay Washington, mm -hmm. I am merely Mark Ellis. Thank you guys so much, and stay tuned right here to Collider Video for all the latest breaking news. We'll talk about this, I'm sure, a lot more on Movie Talk next week.